Boys and girls, who is someone you love very much? How do you show your love for him or her? But someone loves you more than you can imagine and did something very special to show his love for you. The Bible tells us who this someone is. The Bible tells us about God, the powerful king of the universe. He is the one who loves you so much. He lives in a wonderful place called heaven. Nothing bad or even sad happens in heaven. It is perfect place full of beautiful and amazing things like street made of gold and gates made of pearl. If you lived in a place like that, would you ever want to live? Heaven is a wonderful place and God wants you to live there someday because He loves you. So He sent His Son Jesus to make the way for you to live with God forever. God chose to send His Son Jesus to earth as a small baby. Jesus was the most important baby of all time. But instead of being born in an important place or a beautiful place, God's son was born in a little town. And instead of fancy crib, he was put in a manger. God's planned it this way because he loves you. He wants you to know that he sent Jesus for all people, not just rich or important people. Say after me, God loves me. Well done. Jesus came to show God's love by saving people from sin. Sin is anything you do that displeases God. When you disobey your parents or say mean things to people, you are sinning. All people have done bad things called sin. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23, For all have sinned. The reason you do these bad things is because you were born wanted to sin. No one had to teach you to do wrong things. Sin separates you from God and his home in heaven because God is perfect. Sin cannot be with him. God says the punishment for sin is to die and be separated from him forever in a terrible place with no joy or love or peace. God wants to save you from sin and its terrible punishment because he loves you. Jesus came to show God's love by saving people from sin. As baby Jesus grew up, he was a lot like other children in many ways. He probably played games and sometimes fell down and got hurt just like you do. But Jesus was also very different. He is God's perfect son. He never did anything wrong. Not even one. When Jesus grew up, he taught people about God and showed them his love in amazing ways. Jesus showed love to all kind of people, young and old, rich and poor, sick and even healthy. He taught men, women and even children like you about God's love. Thousands of people wanted to be near Jesus. They had never met anyone else like him. Some people wanted their children to meet Jesus and even bought babies to see him. Can you stand and pretend to carry a baby to meet Jesus? Well done! When Jesus' friends saw what was happening, they got upset. They might thinking Jesus is very important, he doesn't have time for children. They must have thought. They stopped the children and told them to go away. But Jesus saw what happened and called out little children. 
The children must have smiled as Jesus picked them up and hugged them close. Jesus wasn't bothered by the children. He liked being with them. But the people who saw what happened learned an important lesson. Children are important to God because He loves them. God loves you too. Say after me, God loves me. The Bible says in 1st John chapter 4 verse 8, this means love is part of who God is. One of the amazing thing God did, he created everything. God created the grass and the trees, birds and dogs. Can you name something God made that begins with letter A? Out of all these things, people are God's most special creation. God made all people, including you, in his image. That means God made you with special ability to show how great he is. You can think and feel, love and create and so much more. God loves people more than anything else in the whole world because he loves you. God wants you to enjoy friendship with him that starts now and goes on forever in heaven someday. Heaven is perfect because God is perfect. He cannot do anything wrong. Everything God says and does it's good and true. God is perfect and loves everyone perfectly. Jesus showed his love for children. They are important to God. Jesus shows God love for all kind of people in many ways. People who felt unloved were surprised to discover Jesus wanted to spend time with them. He even healed many people who were so sick that everyone else was afraid to touch them. Jesus spent a lot of time with those who other thought were bad and had no value. He sat with them at meals, visited their homes and taught them about God's love. Nothing can stop Jesus from loving you either. Maybe there is something that makes you feel unloved. If you have believed in Jesus as your Savior, never forget Jesus loves you. Romans chapter 8 verse 38 and 39 This is a promise from God that nothing in the universe can separate you from his love not even death if you ever feel unloved or worthless stop and talk with God about it he might not take away your problem but that doesn't mean he doesn't love you his love for you is stronger than any problem. When you feel unloved, you can stop and say, God loves me. Say after me, God loves me. This is a truth God wants you to remember. You can remember God shows how great his love is by sending Jesus to save you. Can you think of some problem that might make children feel unloved? Never forget God loves you. Nothing can stop him from loving you. Jesus showed people that nothing could stop God from loving them. Nobody is worthless to God. Jesus, God the Son, even loved those people who were mean to him. There were some evil men who were jealous of Jesus and didn't believe he was the Son of God. They had Jesus arrested even though he had done nothing wrong. Many times throughout the night they made fun of Jesus and beat him. 
they spit on him but jesus didn't hate these mean people he even prayed for them while they were hurting him he didn't try to hurt them or say mean thing to them even when they decided to kill him these terrible people had jesus nailed on the cross even though jesus had the power to stop this but he didn't he willingly suffered and bled on the cross for 6 hours it was the middle of the day but the sky became dark as night and there was a terrible earthquake as jesus the perfect son of god died on the cross how do you think jesus friends must fell when he died they sadly placed his body in a tomb but wicked people they covered the entrance with a large heavy stone the man who hated jesus wanted to make sure his dead body stayed in tomb they knew jesus had said he would not stay dead because they were afraid that jesus friend would steal his body they ordered soldier to guard the tomb they were glad jesus was dead but his friends were very sad why did he have to die they may have thought about it they had seen jesus rescue people from horrible problems like sickness pain and even death why didn't he rescue himself they must have wondered about it jesus did have the power to rescue himself from dying on the cross but because of his great love he chose to bled and die to take the punishment for sin jesus showed his great love when he chose to bled and die on the cross but that's not the end of the story on the third day after jesus died as the soldier were guarding the tomb the ground became shake the angel from heaven came and rolled the heavy stone away from the tomb's entrance the guards were terrified that they fell down and didn't move when some of jesus friends came to visit the tomb the angel told them jesus is not here he is alive when they looked in the tomb it was empty jesus was gone they hurried to tell of jesus friends what had happened but jesus friends didn't believe them they it is impossible they must have thought about it some of them ran to the tomb as fast as they could could you stand up and run in a place like you are rushing to the tomb when they got there they looked in the tomb and found the cloth that jesus body had been wrapped in but jesus was gone as more and more of jesus friends heard the news many of them were confused it seemed impossible for jesus to be alive some of them had seen him nailed to the cross with their own eyes they had watched him suffer and died even though he had never done anything wrong they all wanted it to be true but it seemed impossible then something awesome happened after jesus came back to life he visited his friends he loved them and wanted them to know for sure that he had came back to life when they saw jesus they knew it was true they could see him touch him and hear him jesus was really alive it is true jesus died and came back to life he did this because he loves you say with me boys and girls god loves me now say after me god loves me good jesus was really alive hundreds of people saw him he walked 
and talk and ate just like you and I do. He stayed on earth for 40 days. Then one day while many of his friends were watching, he went up into the sky and went back to heaven, where he is today, ruling as a king over the whole universe. All of this is true, and it happened because God loves you. If you want to believe on Jesus and to be saved, you can do it right now. You just need to come to God and ask for forgiveness. He must forgive your sins. If you don't know how you can receive Jesus and how you can believe Jesus, you can ask your parents and they can contact with us so we can help you more how you can receive Jesus as your Savior.